The Qur'an will always be our best friend if we remember how it takes us to an end by drawing us closer to our loving Creator who grants us a reward that is much greater. What? It's rhyming. Yeah, it is rhyming. See, they're sitting here and they're reading the Qur'an. They're learning the lessons in it. The Qur'an is Allah's great word that spreads all the light and love, even to the beautiful bird, giving it blessings from above. Angel Jibreel came to the cave. He said, Oh, Muhammad, recite in the name of Allah, who will always save. And this surely was not a game. The Prophet ﷺ ran to Khadija, his beloved wife, where she reassured him about his life. He would not be in danger, for he's a great man. And this is how his journey began. Don't you see how the elephant stopped to protect the Kaaba, every brick and block, preventing them from getting near? Abraha's army was paralyzed with fear. Allah sent the birds to drop the rocks to rid the army like long corn stalks. Look at these birds. They're, they're coming and um, dropping the rocks and the, there's elephants. He, he, was, uh, uh, he was in, a, in the army that he was fighting against. Abu Bakr was nervous in the cave. But Prophet Muhammad sallallahu helped him be brave. He said, worry not, for Allah is near. This was a message he made very clear. Sending a spider to spin its web, along with a pigeon and her eggs. The beloved Prophet sallallahu had no fear, for he was certain that Allah was near. Exactly. The Hopa was made to witness Queen Sheba, who worshipped the sun and wasn't a believer. Prophet Suleiman came to know and learn how Shaitan tricked the queen and made her turn. Against the worship of one true God, Shaitan sat back and continued his fraud. But Shaitan will definitely not have the last laugh, for the Quran will continue to witness on behalf of all the Muslims who hold it near and dear, the message of Allah is brilliant and clear. Oh, in your book? Oh, maybe the colors changed, I don't know. Um, see where it says, of all the Muslims who hold it near and dear, do you know anybody who's memorized the Qur'an? No? Do you, you do? MashaAllah, your cousin. Are they somebody who's young? Your dada knows Qur'an? Yeah, MashaAllah. You and know my there, dad And your dad? There are some people who memorize the Qur'an. So that is in, yeah, the whole Qur'an. And it's so dear to their hearts. And you know what? What is more special than the words that Allah told us? Allah told us through the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu we know the actual words of Allah. We can actually talk to Allah. Maybe we wonder, oh, well, Allah doesn't talk to me. How do I know about Allah? Well, Allah sent us his words. All we when have to do pray. is read them. When you pray, you are reading the words of Allah, right? That is Allah's communication with you. Isn't that amazing? Maybe some people think that we don't communicate with Allah. But when you are reading the words in the Quran, you are communicating with Allah. He is talking to you, each one of you, each one of us, all throughout this history of time, since the time of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. We have communication with Allah. Alhamdulillah. 
our beloved Prophet وسلم, ascended to the heavens on the beautiful journey that was oh so splendid. Isra wal Miraj finalized the five prayers, showing us how the Prophet never despairs. We learn in the Quran about the sun and the moon and the time for prayer at around high noon. And when the nightfall is very clear, the stars in the sky shine brightly, my dear. Can I answer your questions after? Mm -hmm. The word from me? The bird. Oh, I think that's supposed to be when he went, Barak, when he went on the... Yeah. yeah. We look to the Quran for healing food where Allah shows us how honey is good. Take from it and enjoy it sweet and say Bismillah for this blessed treat. To love the Quran, you have to know what it means. Look to the stories and lessons and learn your deen. The Quran shows how to treat our father and mother who care for us and always give cover. The heart must remain pure and sincere for the words of Allah to draw forever near. The Quran is a blessing given to a heart of light in the heavens where it will be said, go ahead, recite, allowing you to soar to a very great height. May Allah grant his mercy and love and send us blessings from up above, drinking from the Prophet's blessed hands, keeping our bond with him strong, by his command. Amen. O oh Allah, send your peace, blessings, and praise to our beloved Prophet and allow us to be raised along with those who hold him dear. And that's the message that Allah made clear. Alhamdulillah. What a beautiful book, mashallah. <laughs>